So you want to dress better. Well, that's great. But if you're like me, you're not some ultra wealthy kid who can just throw money willy nilly at every sure shoot and shorts that you come across. You have to be smart with the money that you invest into your clothing. And obviously you should invest the most money in the most important piece of clothing. But what is the most important piece of clothing? Well, after some thinking, I found out what that is and it is actually contrary to what everyone else will tell you. Almost every fashion guru will tell you to invest the most in your shoes. I mean, fair enough. You put the most stress on your shoes, so they should be well made, and your feet eventually stop growing so you can wear them throughout most of your life. Women look down there first, they go from the bottom up, and they can make or break almost an entire outfit. But I said almost because you're not always wearing shoes. I mean, how many times have you gone over to someone's house in a super nice outfit and then they tell you to take your shoes off right at the front door? Yeah, probably a lot. See, you're not always wearing them. Then maybe the jacket, because when people think of dressing nice, they think of a suit a lot of the times, and when they think of a suit, they're really thinking about the jacket. But, just like the shoes, that too can come off. And a lot of times, it does. Just like your shoes, man, you go over someone's house or even an occasion. May I take your jacket? <laughs> May I take your hat? <laughs> it happens. Then the conclusion must be the shirt. Because unlike shoes or a jacket, you're always wearing a shirt. And if it fits bad, oof. And if you get a stain on it, oof. You're screwed. But are you really? I mean, you can cover most of it up. Okay, so what is it then? If it's not the shirt or the shoes, is it the socks? Is it your underwear? No. It's the pants. No way. Because pants, unless you're getting freaky and it's that kind of party, they always stay on. And unlike a shirt, which can be almost totally covered depending on your outer layer, your pants are almost completely exposed. But aside from that, I'd argue that the fit of your pants can totally change the perception and the silhouette of your entire outfit and body. Why though? Well, because your legs are longer than your torso and bigger than your arms if you don't skip leg day. So it covers the majority of your body. So if you get the pants wrong, then you get the majority of your outfit wrong. You follow me? Now the fit of your jacket and your shirt makes a huge difference. I am not denying that at all, but pants just make an even bigger impact. It's one of the many reasons why guys more argue about skinny jeans on men than complaining about tight shirts. It's just one of them at least. I mean, think about it. If you're watching a guy, you see him from afar at least, you know, and you notice something out about his outfit, because let's face it, most dudes don't care what other dudes are wearing. But if you do notice something on, most likely it's going to be either that you see that his pants are too big or too skinny. It's not going to be his shirt or his jacket or his shoes are you know ill-fitted because you know what a walking silhouette reveals a lot more you still don't believe me then try wearing bold pants instead of a bold shirt yeah it takes a whole lot more confidence to do it it's also where you get the most compliments too especially if it's something super cool like my favorite style of pants Gurkha trousers like these ones from craftsman's clothing link in the description and be ready for compliments you better like them cuz boy you're gonna get them. So even if your weight fluctuation makes pants harder to wear sometimes more than others compared to shoes, you still keep them on the entire time. Again, unless you're doing other activities or it's that kind of party. So don't skip out on this and make sure you buy something of quality because holes in your socks can be annoying. Holes in your shoes just look sad. Holes in weird spots in your shirts can start to make you sweat. But holes in the wrong part of your pants. I guess I ripped my pants again. Is a nightmare. Your boy's gonna fix this. And that's also why fit and proportion is so doggone important. And the most important part about proportions, I already talked about it in a video right here. So go watch that. I'll see you there. I said I'll see you there. And if you already watched it, adios, boys.